The pentagrid is a receiving valve that has five control grids besides a cathode and an anode. The question arises what the difference is between the pentagrid and the haptode as they both have seven electrode tube with five grids beside a cathode. They both have the same number of grids, still it's easy to see that their functions are different. The first grid from the cathode in both valves is a control grid in a heterodyne which is a transmitting triode. The pentagrid's second grid functions as an anode in the same triode, while the heptode does not have this grid. The next step was the development of two screen grids instead of one. The reason was that tetrodes and pentodes had only one control grid that was screened off the anode by the screen grid. A new lamp, the pentagrid, retained this development. It is the lowest of the two screen grids. But then the screen control grid became close to the anode. So the mixing section of the valve was turned to a simple triode and made disadvantage which is a high anode grid capacitance. In order to eliminate this disadvantage, an additional second screen grid, internally connected to the first screen grid as they both performed the same function, was placed between the second control grid and the anode. The use of pentagrids solved two problems in superheterodyne receivers, that is to decrease input to output capacitance in the valve and consequently to increase the device's frequency range and increase its efficiency due to fewer valves used.